What's up? How are you guys? Good morning, or at least it's morning for me. And we're going to do a full day in the life vlog, something I have not done in a while. I just crawled out of my uh, metal tent. Didn't sleep that well, but the past week or so, I've actually been sleeping pretty good. Uh, it's earlier than usual, uh, about 7.30. Usually I'm waking up around 9 or 10. I just wiped my face a little bit, tidied up my hair. But since it's supposed to be really sunny and nice outside, at least that's what the weather said, uh, we're going to go over to Central Park and try to get some sun uh, for at least a few hours. But before that, uh, I just got to go down to the warehouse, do a little bit of work. Uh, we're going to have uh, the go testicle for testosterone because I haven't done that in a little while and I feel like I need it. Um, but it's not like super warm, so I'm going to still wear like uh, shirt and pants down there and then when we're in the sun we're probably going to be fine you guys probably think i'm crazy i wipe my face with a little mineral water uh, i usually like using that on my face i feel better and uh i just tidied up my hair a bit so it doesn't look that crazy for the camera but um i do want to do a little bit of a nasal flush because i am slightly congested uh you know from all the pollen and stuff in the air i've shown you guys this before we have a whole video on it uh there's a little bit of iodine in this is that water running in the background annoying for you guys? It annoys the hell out of me. But this bathroom needs in the toilet. So just some water in each nasal cavity. So sometimes I have breakfast, sometimes I don't. And usually once a week I try to do the goat testicles. But I'll almost always have a little bit of mass to come every morning uh, on empty stomach. So I have like Half a teaspoon of masticum here. And for more. Now I do eat a little close to bed. And since I'm not like hydrating throughout the night, the gum motility is not that great. So one of my priorities in the morning is to, you know, drink a lot of water, hydrate the cells after uh, sleeping all night. Yeah, so we got our go testicles here. All right, we got our testicle all mushed up, so it's easy to swallow down. Honestly, can't blame people for doing steroids because putting a little oil in your butt, <laughs> that sounded wrong. Using a needle is a lot easier and less disgusting than swallowing down a testicle. Yeah. I know that's how most of you fairy boys start your morning, oil and testicles. <laughs> oh, we're off to a great fucking start today. My brain's already fried. So I don't really show that because you guys have seen it before. We just hold my nose, swallow the testicle, and use a mask to come to clear the uh, taste out of my mouth. But uh, we're going to get ready, drive down to work, do an hour to work, and then go tan the park. Honestly, don't like how this guy is looking, but worst case scenario, it doesn't clear up and we just have to do nothing all day. I'm pretty sure there's a noise ordinance until like... 8.30 and this asshole's been up since 6.30 sawing some stuff, so I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Now, normally, first thing I do is get on my computer and check some emails, but because it's a little early, uh, 7.30 right now, and I answer emails like at night before I go to bed too, I don't have really anything to look at. Uh, so like over the, the few hours that we're like at the park tanning, I'll probably check my phone from time to time to see if uh, if there's anything I need to respond to. All right, just got some paperwork and checks I gotta send. Also some blood work that I never got done, uh, but maybe we'll do that tomorrow or a day. It's not as nice, an empty stomach in the morning. So usually once a day, I'm like coming down to the laundry area in this house to, uh, to just clean a few things. I try to stay on top of it, but you know, living the lazy bachelor life, you don't uh, really care if you have clothes all over the place. So these are some really old school, like washing and drying machines, but they still work really, really well. I mean, down here is filthy. I haven't cleaned it because I'm not renting part of this house. But um, We just washed some of our kitchen towels. I like running these through twice because they have food on them. So I'll just run them the first time with a little detergent. And then the second time I'll just run them through again. I use this laundry detergent. It's okay. It's not the the most toxic. Uh, sometimes I will use a tiny bit of bleach in my um, in my white clothes, but if I use bleach on the clothes, then I'll, I'll run it again without bleach just to rinse all the bleach off. 
keep everything white. Uh, we just ran out of these, but as I use in the dryer. Yeah, this house was like all of this, so it's kind of cool down here, like Italian style. Yeah, beautiful day outside, beautiful day. Nicest day all of the year, but you could see like there's still some white, uh, whitish around the sun. That means they sprayed something, so UV might not be that great. This house is a really nice neighborhood. House is a little old and there's a little too much EMF, but I can't complain, it's nice and quiet. You know what, I gotta grab a garbage bag and just clean out my car a little bit. I got too much stuff in here. But we already have um, in the back is uh, our backpack with the towels so that we could just lay out in the sun. That's where the noise was coming from. These guys were cutting tile at six in the morning, two houses down. Yeah, I usually get to avoid the rush hour stuff so I don't have to drive it this time, but it's taking me like 40 minutes instead of 15 minutes to get to uh, the warehouse. Just got down to the Bronx and Wednesday is when we get the dairy and the eggs. So we got a few pallets of eggs here and some dairy. Uh, my guys are gonna load it up so I don't have to get my hands too dirty. <laughs> no guys, honestly, I could save like, ah, maybe not that much money if I was down here killing myself for 10 hours a day, but you know, between my liver problems and my health and not sleeping well and having to do all the other business stuff, I'm already working like seven, eight hours every day. And the business is not like super time sensitive. So if I don't get everything done on a Wednesday, I could come in and do extra stuff on Thursday. One day isn't that big of a deal. The problem is if it's a few days. So I'm just gonna spend about, I don't know, half an hour on my computer just printing out the orders for yesterday. And then uh, we'll probably head down to the city, try to get there before 10. All right, it only took about 20 minutes to print those out. We're gonna give the orders to my guys upstairs. I'm gonna do maybe 20 minutes of just filling the orders on the other businesses so we get them out today. And then we'll go sit in my car a little longer to go tan. Yeah, so my guys are just gonna label all the dairy products, put the eggs away, and then we have some orders to fill today. The farmer just put the cows out on grass last week and you can tell this butter is almost orange. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, so we just have to do a few things down here. I'm gonna grab some dinner for later and uh, some ice packs because it's gonna be my car a few hours. Yeah, our uh, roast beef is pretty rare to say the least. Kind of still alive. Just spent about 15 minutes helping him pack this up because I want to take some home with me. Bro, it's supposed to be like nice, beautiful, clear sky, but clear you can see it's like a little hazy outside, but. But we haven't had one day of tanning yet, and it's the middle of May, so we're going to go down to the city anyway, to the park, and lay out a few hours and see if we look and feel better. Uh, yeah, Bronx to Upper East Side is about 40 minutes right now, so since the traffic's not too crazy, I guess we'll go. Not too much traffic, but the... Uh, Sky does not appear to be cooperating. Very hazy. All right, guys, it's about 10 o'clock. We are parked a few feet away, just far enough from a fire hydrant near the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which I should probably go to before I leave the city. I don't think I've ever been in here. Um, but this is like around the area I usually park on either one of the streets, like 79th or like on Madison. So we're just gonna grab my backpack. I got some towels, some water, and some baby wipes. I should probably have an ice pack or something, but it's not that hot yet. Yeah, so when the sun's a little hazy like this, there's minimal amount of vitamin D, but there's still some UVA. So I'll probably look and feel a little better, but you know, with how much they've been spraying last year and this year, who knows if there's even gonna be one actual day of, of full sun. Yeah, I wish I was fucking filming it. I was trying to give this homeless guy a little money. And he fucking freaked out and almost hit me. <laughs> like, usually, usually that doesn't happen. Usually they're pretty chill. It's like one of the first times that's ever happened. There's the uh, statue of my dick. Maybe we should tan over there. It's like perfect weather to be at the park. It's nice and cool. I could have probably worn shorts and a t-shirt. So I usually actually tan over here. Um, there's a couple sitting by my spot, which usually doesn't happen. But what they did was 
like these shrubs and these reeds over here, they used to be a lot, lot higher. So that like alcove over there was really secluded, but now it's not. So like even people from like over there can see you. So I haven't been doing this spot anymore. There's another spot that's like a few minutes walk, but sometimes like earlier in the day, like now, there's too much shade and also like it's part of a like a walk path trail so a lot of times like people are walking by me which i don't like that much because over there even though like more people can see you now that they cut the grass at least there's like no reason for anyone to walk over to you yeah, it's like a really nice wednesday morning super quiet almost every other time i've come to the park it's just been like mad people here yeah so this like area over here is where i usually tan but there's a lot of like bird watchers or something and like photographers that come over here so there's always like usually people walking through see there's a guy walking through right now i don't know where the fuck they're walking from i think it's like a shortcut or something but like over this area like no one's ever here it's just people walking through sometimes one thing I don't like is there's this like storm drain over here and sometimes people leave like garbage but so you know like from here if I'm like in this little alcove no one can really see me um but last year this wasn't cleared out and like not as many people were able to see me but whatever I don't fucking care it's Central Park so the uh the sun is like it's intense enough that I can't really look at it but it's not that intense and peak UV is supposed to be in like an hour, an hour and a half, so. But down here anyway, we'll ground. The only thing I gotta make sure is last time I accidentally left my phone on by my head, I got the worst headache, but lesson learned. Yeah, we just got the tattoo, so I gotta like cover my chest with a towel. So tan line might not be that even. What's funny is like, I'm always the person lying here, but uh, then like people see you doing something and they do it too. So usually in a few hours, there's like a bunch of picnics over here. Um, but uh, what's that called, like law of inclusion or something? I don't know, there's probably a, a word for it. Where people like see someone else doing something and they want to do it too. But uh, I'm definitely not supposed to have any sun on this tattoo, so. We brought like a black towel. I'm just gonna put this on top like that. Yeah, I just have three beach towels and uh, I got some water in here too. Gotta stay hydrated so I don't get a headache. Yeah, I honestly don't know if these people are like bird watchers or tourists or something because almost everyone that walks through here has like a camera. Um, we've done so many videos on vitamin D, guys, the benefits and stuff. So just search Frank to find a vitamin D if you want the full explanation. I don't want this uh, full day in the life to be too long. Frankie hot boat lakes. So when you're tanning, you got to think of yourself as a burger and your face is also the priority. So like I lay on my back for a little bit, then I'll flip over. But when I flip over and I'm on my stomach, I make sure like my left side of my face or my right side of my face is facing the sun and then i'll flip over again while staying on my stomach just so that the other side of my face is against the sun so i get like some extra sun on my face where the skin like recovers the quickest but uh i'm in pretty good shape i'm in pretty good shape you know since we've been up so early since 7 a.m and all we had was the go testicle i might want to grab lunch because if I don't grab lunch, I'm not gonna end up having my first meal until like four or five o'clock, which isn't really that good. But if I like cut the tanning session a little short, grab a nice lunch for like half an hour and I get something in my stomach, then by the time I, I do some work and go home, by like four or five o'clock, it won't be that late to have the first meal. I don't know, we'll see. I don't wanna eat like any vegetable seed oils or french fries or shit because I've been having too much of that these past few days. So we'll see. I almost forgot there's not that many bugs yet so i don't really need it but i was definitely using this bug spray a lot last year frankiesnaturals.com it's almost noon now the sky's definitely a little cloudy but the sun's pretty intense so happy we came down you know i just realized i probably look like a chick because like i have my chest covered <laughs> maybe if my thighs were a little bigger i guess the chick's calves could be this big definitely not the guns though yeah, I look so tired. Hopefully I sleep a little better tonight. It's one of those slow days. I feel like I've been out here for four hours. It's been like an hour, an hour and a half. No one's in the park, which is really nice. Not too many people walking through. But I did want to talk about 
uh, vitamin D and liver detox a little bit, noting that for every day in the sun, like full day in the sun, it's 0.1 to 0.3% liver detox. And what I mean by that is, depending on your current state of health, degree of liver damage, every full, you know, six to seven hours, maybe three to four in high UV that you spend in the sun is going to detox your liver 0 0.10, 0.10 to 0 0.30, 0.30% of the way there. And that might seem low, but that's between, you know, 400 and a thousand days in the sun for full liver detox, which makes sense over the course of several years. So hypothetically, if I'm in the worst case scenario, you know, it's going to take four to five years of a lot of summer sun to be fully healed. And I think those numbers are very, very accurate. I think those numbers are very accurate. So it might seem slow, you know, oh, I spent the whole month in the sun, Frank, and you're telling me I'm only getting, you know, between 3% and, you know, 10% of my liver detox. Yeah, that's, that's really what it is. So you can only detox your liver a maximum of like 10 to 15% per year in some circumstances. So that's the, uh, that's the tidbit of knowledge for today, guys. Maybe we'll do a, an updated vitamin D video next time we come out in the sun. So normally when I go tanning, I don't get up that early. So it'll be like 9 or 10 a.m. I wake up, hydrate, go tan for a few hours, and then I'll eat something. So like my stomach isn't that empty for that long. Today, since I got up super early and had the go testicles, I should have had some oatmeal or something and then gone out too. Um, so I think I will grab lunch in the city today, which I never do. I don't know if I've ever sat down and gotten lunch in the city. Um, but just so I don't get a headache, we'll probably go get lunch around 1.30, 1.45, and then go home to dodge the rush hour. Um, if it was like really sunny and really nice and this tattoo wasn't healing, uh, I would probably try to stay to like 2.33. But, you know, 9, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Is, is pretty good. Peak UV is at, let me actually check today. What to, um, I think peak UV is at 12.45 today. So ideally minimum, you're in the sun from 11.45 to 1.45, which is, is good. It's two hours around peak UV, that's perfect. Um, more than that, another hour in each direction is great, you know, um, which would be 10.45 to like 2.45, which is four hours. Not everyone wants to spend that much time in the sun, but. I wonder how many dogs have pissed in this spot. I'm definitely building up my immune system. <laughs> this fucking weirdo. This fucking weirdo walking right up to me in the forest. What the fuck is this guy doing? And there's this fucking foreign girl 20 feet away from me screaming in some language I don't know on her phone. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, this fucking tattoo's working. This girl just fucking came next to me and took our top off. <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking. That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. I'm just joking, guys. She was uh, putting her top on. But uh, I think if she actually liked me, she would have got a little closer than 40 feet away. <laughs> LASIK can only do so much, bro. I can't tell how pretty she is. I can't get a, enough of a good look at her face. Got the whole fucking peanut gallery bird tour going on now. I think that's what it is, because everyone has a camera and they're talking about birds. So maybe I should fucking fly away too. I mean, I'm definitely not recording it like some fucking perv, but this girl is laying like this like I am, and I'm just staring right at her head. <laughs> Yo, her friend came over too. She called a friend over to meet me. If they move closer to me, I guess we're having a... Uh... <laughs> I'm such a fucking idiot. Honestly, bro, like... If I didn't have more meat on my ass than both of them combined, and her voice wasn't deeper than mine, I'd be all over it. I'd be fucking yelling at her across the park. I'd make some shit up. I'd be like, yo, there's a, there's a beehive over there. Be careful, you gotta, you gotta move. I have a good spot. I don't know, I'm, the sun's getting to me. Plus empty stomach, I'm starting to go a little crazy. If I could also be like, I forgot my sunscreen, can you ladies help me out? Little do they know sunscreen is for normies and I just want them to rub me down. All right, it's like 2.30, my head's starting to hurt a little bit. I really should have just stopped by like that organic bakery. That is okay and gotten 
one or two pastries just to have some carbs in my stomach to just soak things up. But uh, since my head doesn't hurt yet, I think we're not gonna try to like squeeze out another 15 minutes, half hour or so, even though it's like, it's really beautiful. The sky really cleared up. Because uh, we'll just, you know, probably tan another few days this weekend, it's nice. But yeah, so earl earlier for an hour or two, it was kind of nasty and it's still not perfectly clear, but it's definitely a lot better. I was gonna talk to those girls when I left, but after I put my clothes on, I felt like I had no game. <laughs> Now were they biological females? I mean, let's not get into that. These New York City girls are a little too skinny and muscular for that. But uh, hey, you know, it's nice to have a little fun once in a while, you know? It doesn't always have to be uh, as God intended, how would you say? Uh, yeah, I'll probably come back down tomorrow, but I'm definitely not gonna wear, you know, the full sweats. I'll put on some shorts and a t-shirt. It was just really cool earlier, but uh, now it's hot. It's like 75. Yeah, I wonder if I'm gonna regret getting lunch. It's like three o'clock right now, so I leave the city at four, it might take me forever to get home, but you know, these people get on my nerves, man. Just strategically blocking the street, seven kids wide. I almost killed myself on some little girl scooter a few seconds ago. And no one says like, excuse me, sorry, pardon me. You know, like I understand you're like a nine foot tall black dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say shit, but if you're like some fucking twerp looking nerdy dude, like say excuse me, come on, be nice. Hi, hi. You know, I remember before even like, I don't know, I must have been 17 or 18. Like before I was super into dieting, before like I had any Accutane or any of that shit. I still got headaches in the city. So, you know, my health from when I was like, since I was a kid, basically, it's fucked. So, you know, would have been nice to uh, get a brain transplant 15 years ago. I know everything, but that's not how it works. All right, we're having a quick lunch, although I don't like doing it in my workout okay. clothes. Yeah. Just uh, no, no glass, just the bottle just of the like no yeah. uh, So this is Serafina, and I saw this filet mignon with boiled potatoes appetizer. So for my diet, I was like, all right, at least we have something good to start, so we'll see what else. Yeah, so we ordered steak carpaccio for appetizer, and then we're gonna have risotto for lunch. I'm not ordering three courses because there's no way I'm gonna eat it. I'm not spending 150 fucking dollars on lunch again because these prices down here are crazy, bro. You would think you were in like a fine dining restaurant. The restaurant is here on the left, and then on the right, they also have actually, you see the sign there, it says gelato and frozen yogurt, so we'll definitely get something after. You know, a gentleman doesn't wear a hat in a restaurant. A gentleman also wouldn't wear workout clothes in a restaurant, but technically we're not in the restaurant, we're outside. <laughs> so here's the carpaccio, guys. Black truffles, which aren't that expensive. I don't really like them, but it's what they had. Some boiled potatoes on there. I'm not filming a full restaurant vlog for you guys today, so we'll have to do that in a week or two. It's just a little short clip. There's a lot of oil on it, which I'm not a fan of. I'm like so hungry though. Scarfing this down in like 10 seconds. They gave me some shitty bread. I don't even know if I should eat this. Yeah, well, I overheard the soup of the day is the white bean soup. I have to get that while waiting for the risotto. Well, for me, like, I'm in this weird spot where as much as I try to, like, save money and stuff, it's just so much shit just goes wrong with my business every week. Like, the amount of money I spend on lunch is so, it's just so insignificant. Like, the ice company shorted us, like, 700 pounds and then tried to argue that they sell by the block and not by the pound. I was like, this 700 pounds of dry ice. And, the week, and then every week now, FedEx is losing hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of packages, so. Yeah. You know, fucking wipe my ass with a hundred dollar lunch. All right, I don't know what this is, but I'm not eating this. I thought it was gonna be like a white bean puree and a lot of white beans, but this is like carrots and stuff and chicken soup, I don't want this. Honestly guys, the reason I'm really getting lunch is because I don't think I can stomach barley soup after sitting in the sun for four hours. Not gonna be fun. We got some risotto, which is just rice. So not a crazy amount of fat in it, but maybe not ideal. It's okay. 
There's a bit of butter and Parmesan in here. Bro, I guarantee you, I'm 100% going to be shitting my pants with this much fat in the meal. I guess moving forward now, I know like, anytime it's a dish where they use a lot of butter and cream in it, just tell them to go light on it. This is like exactly what I would fucking drink if I was trying to shit my pants. So they had apple juice, but it's like green, green apples, so maybe not the best idea, but green apples plus butter is uh, definitely a quick way to detox your liver to catch my drift. You know, the lesson learned here is like, I need to eat breakfast and potentially bring something to eat with me because, or I need ice packs. Because what I used to do is I used to take down like a bunch of ice packs when I went tanning just to kind of cool me down. And then I, like, I wouldn't get any headaches or have any issues laying in the sun for a few hours. But uh, hopefully we get home within like an hour. And uh, I don't know, maybe do a few hours of work on the computer and then uh, maybe eat again. Who knows? It'll be a long fucking video. We'll spend half the day editing it. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. I mean, most people in New York don't have a car, but if you've got to pee really bad, you open the passenger door, you open the front door and you stand here and you pee and no one can tell what you're doing because like behind me the passenger door you know there's cops right there they can't see what the fuck i'm doing and in the front here this door is blocking this view so the only way someone can see if i'm pissing is like if they literally were right by me and if i'm facing my car they can't see shit so i mean that's a little ridiculous considering i've seen guys literally just like pull their fucking pants down in the middle of the street and piss on them in the middle of the uh, sidewalk in like noon on a sunday so most people don't care, but um, I don't know. Like normally carpaccio and risotto, when you order those dishes at a restaurant like that, they don't have that much fat on them. Like the carpaccio isn't usually doused in cream and the risotto isn't usually that uh, buttery and fatty and oily, but it's whatever. I don't wanna get some gelato or something. Or sorbet. There's like a nice sorbet place on that free side. I forgot the name of it though. Alright, I changed my mind. We're making a pit stop. Yeah, I am definitely not uh, mentally stable enough to be laying in the sun all day and staring at dudes in bikinis. So maybe this pineapple sorbet will cool my brain off. Now, I forgot the name of that place already. It's a gelato store on West 84th and Columbus. And they had pineapple, which is my choice. But they also had some vegan flavors made with oat milk. But they said they make the oat milk in house, so might have been able to go for one of those. They had uh, a vanilla vegan, some like caramel and a chocolate one. So those might have all been passable on my diet, but pineapple sorbet arguably actually not the better choice because they're probably using like the four days half one in it. I don't know. So maybe the oat milk. But, oh wait, that's right. If they're making the oat milk. Either way, it's not the best. It's not the best thing, but pineapple sorbet, lemon sorbet, it's like the only frozen dessert I can have, so. We're rolling with it. Man. I wonder if I'm gonna remember where it parks. Yo, this pineapple sorbet slaps. It's really good. I'd rather eat it than those two sweaty girls' asses in the park. All right, maybe not. Maybe I should have talked to them. <laughs> All right, so we have a snack on the way home now. I mean, so far outside of lunch, this is kind of a typical day when I do the tanning stuff in the city. Um, honestly, should have probably just got home right after uh, right after the tanning and had lunch but yeah we definitely got to come up with something besides the barley stew now that it's getting warmer outside see my skin already looks better from the sun yeah this type of traffic is about as bad as it gets you, know, you have high radiation you got high pollution brake dust brake fumes not a good spot for health yeah generally when I slip up I get a headache so like today I just didn't eat you know till freaking three o'clock you know up for six seven hours in the sun all day no food in my stomach it's not a smart move I'm surprised my head doesn't hurt more but you know next time i come down i just got to make sure to eat breakfast before and then um, i don't really expect to stay in, in the city so long so i actually spoke about radiation and stuff on the highways i think the video is two or three years old now but before all this you know what nonsense about three years ago, the radiation outside of the city was 
is really low. As soon as you left, like, Harlem, you're on the highway, no radiation from the car. You're perfectly healthy and safe. But ever since they put up all the new cell towers and that type of stuff, you're basically in a high radiation environment whenever you're driving in a lot of cases. So just being in the, in the stop and go traffic makes it a lot worse because you have all the radiation from people's nearby cars. You, know, you have the fumes, as we said. So but don't, uh, don't think that it's only bad when you're in stop and go traffic because they have these towers pointing at the highway now. All right, just got home. It's almost five o'clock. We threw the roast beef in the fridge. I'm gonna have a teaspoon of mastic gum because I did not have any with lunch. Yeah, so normally if I don't tan, which is most of the time actually, 75% of the year, I just work most of the day in the warehouse and do more work on the computer and film YouTube and stuff. So I actually would prefer to just work in the warehouse than lay out in the sun. <laughs> like, I know to some of you guys it seems like, oh, he's like relaxing and doing what he wants all day, but dude, laying in the fucking sun is not like enjoyable, especially in New York City, how you have at this stuff. And when your liver isn't 100%, I feel like fucking shit. So I'd rather be in my warehouse all day working than uh, burn my face off in the sun. But, we're outside. I'm just gonna ground a little bit by this tree because I don't really know. New York City, it's always high EMF, so grounding isn't really that great there. Plus, you know, you don't know what types of um, wires and magnetic shit is underground, even in Central Park. So, relax out here for maybe five minutes and then we'll go back inside. All right, so I think I'm gonna lay down for a few hours. I've been up a long time, at least for me, at least. Since 6.30 a.m., so I could use a few hour nap, to say the least. Like, if my sleep was okay, I could probably stay up all day and stuff, and if I had a reasonable meal timing. Most of the time lately, I've actually been staying awake, like, the whole day without taking naps. But a day like today, where, like, I don't eat most of the day, I'm out in the sun for four hours, you know, my head hurts a little bit. Usually when I come home, I'll, I'll lay down for a few hours, because there's, like, nothing that immediately needs to be done right now. Like, I have a ton of stuff to do on my computer. I have to... Uh, mostly answer emails for all the businesses, place some orders from our distributors, and then I have to uh, uh, edit some videos and do some social media content. So that's going to take at least three, four, five hours on my computer. All, all, I'm going to be working all night. It's just I, ca I can do it later when I feel a little better. So uh, that also includes editing this video. But normally when I get home, I would have like the barley stew. I do that work on the computer and then go to the gym and have dinner. Maybe 20% of the time, like today, I have a nap. We're gonna lay down the tent, low EMF, relax, feel a little better when we wake up. And on the rare occasion, I just sleep throughout the whole night, get up at five or six a.m. really early and then finish work in the morning, early the next day, so. Before I lay down, I'm gonna double up on the mask to come and take some vitamin B1 too. All right, guys, it's like 9.30. I just woke up. I'm still fucking shot. Um, I'm going to eat something, and then we'll do a few hours of work on my computer and hopefully get to bed before 2 a.m. Um, go be in, probably tan again tomorrow. And hopefully do it better second time around. All right, we got our roast beef that we brought home from Frankie's Syringe Meat earlier. These are the beef udon noodles. This is our white bean puree that has collagen broth and beef broth mixed in, and that also has mushroom, onion, white beans, artichokes, just really delicious sauce for the udon noodles. Finish off with an apple, and that's really gonna be it for dinner. This is actually one lunch and one dinner's worth of dishes. It's not a crazy amount, it's just like in this tiny sink, I just hate cleaning up everything, so. I'm gonna make dinner real quick. It shouldn't make more than, uh, so it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to make dinner. So the noodles are boiling, I've got the apple chopped up, the roast beef is the roast beefing, it looks amazing. I'm spending too much time on TikTok <laughs> with these fucking words. Now I was joking earlier saying the uh, sorbet is probably not better than those two sweaty uh, Central Park girls, you know. But this roast beef is definitely better. This stuff is like fucking... 
So, this roast beef when it's rare and fresh. My favorite, it's like one of my favorite things. Plus you don't have to cook it, it's amazing. It's already done. So good. I could house like a pound of this right now. Just eat it raw. Well, it's not raw, but you know, it's really lightly cooked. Just eat it without anything. My hair's been messed up all day, bro. I was honestly thinking of filming this again tomorrow because I was like, you know, I probably should have gone to the restaurant and should try to keep it more typical to what I normally do. But that would have been kind of boring if I didn't go tanning, you know? What this day was missing, though, was a conversation with some Amish people. Hey, this is Abner Stolzfis here in Lancaster. He spoke to me about the dairy. <laughs> there we go, boys. Organic beef udon noodles served with hand-torn roast beef. I hate when restaurants say that shit, like, hand-torn roast beef. Yeah, bro, we know. There's some chef in the back. It, how else are you going to put it in the dish? Like, it's hand-cut carrots. Oh, wow. What were you going to... Like... <laughs> farm fresh produce. Yeah, like, where else does that do vegetables come from? The farm? Like, what? Dumb as fuck. All right, so I'm going to sit down and enjoy my dinner. Uh, as always, we have some masticum. And we're gonna finish it off with some vitamin B1. Might have some charcoal later before we go to bed. A little more charcoal, more masticum. All right, we're done with dinner. Normally I would make my overnight oats, but I know tomorrow morning I'm gonna be, just wanna drink some water. I'm too, too lazy to eat. Um, but I don't know, what time is it? It's probably like 10.30. Yeah, it's like 10.30. I gotta do all the work on my computer. It's gonna take minimum two hours. So hopefully we can get to bed before one, if not two, so it's not that bad. But th my circadian rhythm is definitely fucked up. Like, it's bad. I think that's gonna be it for the video because I don't really have anything I'm gonna show you guys. I might like take a shower, brush my teeth, put in my retainer and stuff, but nothing too interesting to show you guys. So thanks for joining. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, day of nonsense. But um, it's definitely a long fucking day. A long day. Yeah, honestly, if I didn't go to the city to tan, I'd have obviously more time to work, but also a little more time to relax too. But I got to tan to feel better, so eventually. Oh, almost forgot. Yeah, we were supposed to go to the gym, but uh, that obviously did not happen today. Um... Most days I do try to go to the gym. So, you know, if I didn't have to tan, if I felt a little better, if my head wasn't hurting, out of, you know, at the gym for just for like half an hour. So it's another 45 minutes out of my day, but um, yeah, we'll definitely go tomorrow.